Hello and welcome to the Kern County Championship. This is K5 Championship Season 5, and we are doing an enduro race here today. We've got the Mazda MX-5. We've got... I know we have the Toyota GR86, which we'll get a look at here. Gavin's got it here. And uh, we've also got the Clio, which I know Nick is running. And here it is. So three different road cars doing some Kern County racing here today. Should be quite interesting. First things first though, we gotta do some qualifying. Get this thing going. <laughs> it really does not like moving. You really gotta coax it to actually start driving a little bit. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the first lap to warm up the tires would be a mistake but uh tire heat tire temperature is just such an unbelievably big thing in the mazda cannot be understated and on top of that so much fuel weighing this thing down so i think the second lap is almost definitely going to be the one that is preferred we'll see what we get here got to make sure we don't mess this up though we only got one shot. P23, you're now 2.1 off the leader's pace. Your lap time was 22.88. Pretty tight. Maybe not the best corner there. The car ahead has just done a 22.08. <laughs> Give it my best. The car's really tight early on. We got a 21.4. Not very good, apparently. Probably should have just gone for it, I guess. But, uh, that's alright. Trek felt even tighter than, uh, before, to be honest. But we'll get a couple laps in here. I guess I probably should have taken the low and tight approach there, using a little bit of brake to get it rotated. Probably the wrong approach, but that's okay. Kind of like an endurance style race here, um, which of course, you know, enduro. <laughs> but uh, we're multi-class racing, should be very interesting. And it seems like uh, the balance of the cars has gone pretty well. I think Nick lowered the power of the MX-5 just a little bit, so it's not the, like, consensus fastest. And it seems to be very uh, on pace with the Toyota GR86. And then the Clio, I think, is just a little bit, just a little bit slower, maybe. Um, but that said, Nick <laughs> outqualifies us. And uh, I believe, who else was in the... Brett, yes, Brett was also in the uh, Clio. So, pretty uh, even, which is cool. Looking at the times here. 20.7, all that good stuff. And uh, we're going right into the race. Um, huh. Yeah, okay, buddy. So Daniel asking which uh, car he's, I'm running because it's like probably wondering why I uh, was so slow. But uh, that's all right. We'll just uh, hopefully be able to keep it clean. I hope everyone's able to keep it clean. Good luck, everybody. Right up on the outside. Pit road is closed right and now. we'll have rolling start here. Got uh, the, the Clio right in front of us. It sounds like there's going to be no cautions except for a manual one. Manual ones at uh, the 50 marks. So that's going to be important to avoid uh, avoid any messes. Got just enough fuel to make it, it looks like. Estimated laps 204. So even though this thing's heavy... 
I think we're going to need that fuel. Um, two sets of tires, so while well, we'll have three cautions to uh, put tires on it, you got to pick them wisely. I think, uh, well, I don't know. We'll see how the car is feeling. I think we're probably just going to wait a while. Depending on how the car feels, I don't know if uh, I want to put in fuel at all, or tires on at all. We'll see. I think everybody is going to hit at 100 and 150. I might only hit at 150, depending on how the car is feeling. We'll see. Pretty uncharted territory, so... Check up. If we get ourselves a good start, might have to kick the clutch a little bit to get this thing moving. Never been on track with the Clio. I don't own it. So cool to see that out here. I have raced both the Toyota and the Mazda, though. I really like the Mazda. That's why I chose it for the race here today. Oh, about ready to get going. 50 lap run to start. Let's go. Should be fun. Oh my god, we're smashing on the brakes. Still there at the bottom. That was a little unexpected. Oh, we got a spinner! Avoid that! Okay, we're fine. Gotta look out, because there are uh, no cautions. Except for the scheduled times. So, gotta watch out. Gonna use some brake, hopefully get off the right front a little bit, though I don't think tire wear is gonna matter all too much. It is something we're gonna have to think about. Mazda does not like to turn early on. Got really tight at the exit there. Aren't they trying to dive it in on me? Not gonna let that happen. Maybe in a road car, but it is oval racing. 16th place. Cleo ahead of us. Brett and the Cleo. Move forward a little bit after the crashes and such. Tires starting to come in a little bit. Starting to feel a little bit better. Brett may be looking to make a pass. That lap was a 20.84. Quite chill. Lap in this session. The car in front lap time is a 21.06. We weren't quite there. Yeah, yeah, the but we'll get by him. Oh wow, I did not expect that run. I didn't know that thing had enough power to get a run. <laughs> but it did. Colton, the next car is white. There's Nick up there fighting for his life. <laughs> I do think the Clio, the Clio might be the slowest class. That's your best lap in the session. So he's probably just doing his best to hold on. Who knows though what it could do long run? If maybe uh holds tires better or better or something, you never know. Big run. Mazda's starting to come in, I think. Pretty fun driving this thing around here. Making our way forward. Does seem like the MX-5s are getting some extra speed. 
side. Stay low. Stay low. Clear. P12. It might be tough to pass because he's got a little more straightaway speed, I think. Outside. We'll Still get there, there though. Stay low. And start working on him, though he's got that speed off the corner. Stay low. Leave him a lane. Outside. P11. You've just done a Clear 21. All right, get around him. Daniel in front of us now. He's got the Toyota. Car inside. Clear. I wasn't really trying to get to his outside. It kind of just happened. That last light was a. 21.00 Outside Get to his inside Stay low, there is a car on the high side Stay low, there is a car on the high side Clear Plane Keep low You're in the top 10 Eight. Clear outside if you want it And get around him, alright, we're in the top 10 I think it's mostly, uh Toyota's in front of us. That surprises me. I thought maybe we'd see some MX-5s near the front. Unless, oh, never mind. Maybe they're pulling away. I don't know. I could be You're wrong. So we're P10, and it looks like we're the first of the Mazdas right now. I did not expect that. I thought my bad qualifying effort maybe uh, put me way behind a bunch of guys, but apparently we're uh, oh whoa, almost a wall hit for Dan. Um, but apparently we're the we're leading our class, which is awesome. Car outside. Stay low. Alongside car. Dan now. P9. Clear outside if you want it. Kick the brake a little bit to get this thing turning. Get around him. And we're P9. Catching up pretty quick to the guys ahead, too. I want to lay him down, interestingly. Still inside. Still right, inside. Lap time's pretty consistent. Man, this thing's fun to drive. I really like how this drives on ovals. They have the Week 13 event. Where they had uh, racing the Mazda on ovals, and I actually really enjoyed it. Nice and smooth. P8. Clear. Inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Over for us to go right now. Just gotta be smart. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there inside. The next car is the page. You're up top. Three wide. Inside. Two wide. Or three wides. I don't know how much room I need to leave. There's a car on the low side. P7. That lap time Clear was inside. 21.26. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Making our way through. Clear. Car outside. Stay low. Clear Get a outside. run off. Sixth place. Outside. Okay, Colton. Still the there. Next Hold car your line. Gregory. Clear outside. 
Maybe the right front getting a little more worn. Keep low. So I gotta think maybe the outside's where we wanna be. Still there. Outside clear. That lap was uh inside one point one eight. Still inside. Clear. I think that second lane has come in perhaps. Even if we'll go out in the corner, I think really helps. But uh, he's kind of parking it up high, so we'll go low again, I guess. He backs off, I guess. Alright, appreciate him for that. You're having trouble getting it done. We're P5 now. You're in P5. I'm going to go ahead and put session last lap up, because I think tires are starting to matter a little bit. Got those leaders up there, the top four, or the top three, I guess. I think maybe there's a lap car mixed in there somewhere. Nick King ahead of us in the Valvoline car, that's pretty good looking. wonder where the next uh, Mazda is. Since uh, we're all racing each other, even though we're in different cars, we're all fighting for one race, essentially. Uh, we can't see the different color-coded class designations or whatever. But it does look like we're the leading Mazda, which is cool. Your last lap time was at 21.00. Car outside. Outside is clear. Nick will back out. Appreciate him for that. We're going to go try to catch those guys, but they've got a decent head start. You're in fourth position. Your lap time was at 21.10. Now we'll just hit our lap, see if we can gain anything. Right now we've got a lap car coming up of Rick. He's the first guy we'll see. Most likely. You get on the throttle so much earlier than you might expect. Just because this thing's so low powered. That was a... Twenty-one Really help uh, keep the momentum up. P four. Scar also seems to like. Uh, when you're off throttle, just kind of uh, rolling, which not a lot of cars on iRacing seem to respond well to that. A lot of cars, you're kind of either braking or throttling. Maybe both at the same time. Usually not doing nothing with the pedals, but I, in my experience with the Mazda, it gets a lot of great turn if you just let it roll sometimes. To some degree, it seems to help, so... Letting it roll a little bit around mid corner, seeing how that works out. Okay, Colton, the next car is Lemons. Next car is Lemons. Oh, next car for position, spotter means. So I knew we had some lap cars in between, so that was surprising to me for a second, but that is accurate. We're good on fuel, right? I know it was pretty close. Yeah, we're good on fuel, I think. Hard to tell right now, though. We've got so many freaking laps to do. That can vary, but... You know, it is kind of close, actually. Not much we can do about that. I mean, we can, we can fuel it up, too. Let's not forget. Because we will be having caution at uh, lap 50. Which is going to help us out. 
Honestly, the smart thing for me to do right now would probably just to be uh, taking it kind of easy, saving the tires so I don't have to take them this first stop. Maybe I do take them this first stop, because I worked so hard getting through the field. And then I'll have track position for the next one. Though, what if everybody else stays out? And then I lose all this track position. Because everybody else plans to go the final two stops. I think we just gotta stay out. So maybe the thing to do right now would be stop pushing, because we're not catching Gavin. But then again, we got Nick King right behind us, and uh, looking to pass. Pass us again. He's got some draft that's helping him out, and who knows, maybe uh, my tires are bad. My right front specifically. Could be negatively impacting our pace. Gavin's actually pulling away. I'm gonna try a couple different things, see which gets me through the corner best. We're going to have to remember when we do get new tires on this thing, they're going to be cold and the car handles so much differently on cold tires. Major difference in the MX-5, so we got to watch out for that. That lap time was 21.07. Catching up to Rick here, the lap car. Sorry, Gavin, i got a late inside call that time. I think kicking the throttle does help, oh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that a little bit as we get mid-corner. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Rick lets us by. Much appreciated. Raymond up next. Top three. Right on top of each other. Looking fast. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear high. Get around Raymond then. Getting close to that lap 50 pit. Here, or yellow flag to be specific, because not everybody's going to pit, including me. I think I might stay out, save those tires for later. Is that what I want to do, though? Is that really what I want to do? I don't know. It's such a tough call. You've just done a 21.20. The car is so much slower on fresh tires, too. We might just stay out. I think we stay out. That's going to be what I do. I'm going to stay out. We'll see if it pays off or if it hurts us badly. I'm driving in a little more aggressively. Getting a little bit more uh, break into it. Seeing how that works out for us. Maybe a little bit. But uh, we will be getting the caution here once we hit lap 50 complete. Or, no, okay, the start of lap 50. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, too. Just as well. I bet if I chopped you, Shane, I got a late call on that, my bad. King behind is increasing. It's now 1.13. No, you're good, man. All right. Pretty fun racing up here. Okay, Colton, you're gaining on the car. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Yeah, I love this. This is great. Big fan of how this is going. I really didn't want there to be a caution. <laughs> I did. I burnt the hell out of my right front. Well, not very many people taken, it looks like. I certainly won't be. As uh, I've deliberated, and you've heard. I didn't know where pit road was there. No. Uh -oh. Kyle's looking yeah, a bit. Here really tough. Let them on the outside. 
I lost all super terrible. Fast me there. Rick getting a lucky dog. Grats to him. <laughs> Is Kyle going to pit now? Or uh, has he missed his chance? He's choosing to pit, it looks like. Very interesting. Curious who the next Mazda is. Is it Dante back there? I can't remember. P3. Might be Dante. Yeah, he's got himself a Mazda. So he's not too far behind. We're going to have to work hard to uh, keep our class lead, quote-unquote. Even though, as stated, there's no real classes here. We're just all driving different cars and all fighting for the same win. Single file restarts, right? I actually don't know. Yeah, lap cars start on the inside. Okay, call Is that right? Car Interesting. Okay. Heads up. I couldn't remember what I uh, read. It's going to be the case here. A couple of people coming out of the pits pretty late. Did the they get there in time? Gaps now. Zero point six five. Some of these uh, road cars take a long time to pit. Get new tires. I think they made it though. Looks like they did. Yeah, with how slow this thing is on fresh tires, I think we're okay Just keeping uh, our track position for now. And we'll see how I'm feeling later. Would love to know what my uh, right front's looking like right now. But uh, I really have no clue. Nobody posted in the in the chat, and if they did, they would have to specify what car they're using too. All right, we'll get going again. I'm gonna have another car. Whoa! Oh yeah, lap cars on the inside. We'll get a uh, going again. Get started at uh, or get another caution on lap 100. Leads us off. You're now in third. Inside. Still there. Inside. Clear inside. Can't get around, Raymond. Tires have cooled down, interestingly. Much more grip. That's crazy. How much more grip we actually have now. I guess the tire heat was really making a difference. Dante looks like he's got better tires. He's got lots more drive out of the corners. Okay, Colton, Try to get a nose on me though, I'm not just gonna let him dive in on me. I think he's got it here though. No, not quite. Inside. Clear. Wish people would uh, get on the inside before they dive it in. It's always pretty frustrating. If I don't hear a call, I'm not changing my line. Guys, again, not quite. Tried a little higher line there. Kind of worked. Maybe we go a lane up now. You've just done a twenty point nine one. We're going side by side ahead of us, slowing each other down a little bit. Last 
car inside. Still there, hold your line. Went too high that time. Stay high. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Don't see now alongside. Still there, inside. Oh, screen flash, didn't like that. Clear, your last lap time was at 21.04. Gonna be really hard to pass, I think. Car I don't know, I think Dante does have better tires at this Clear point. Inside. Inside. He tries to shut the door on Still there at the bottom. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Oh, this is crazy. Still there, inside. P2, that was a uh, 21.07. Still there. Low car up high. Uh oh, what's happening up there? Slow car up high. Low car up what is high. happening? Why are they cutting in front of the field? Oh my gosh, that was scary. They've got a broken car, I guess. Okay, you're in second. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Still there, inside. Clear inside. Inside. Clear. All right, P2. Got Gavin in front of us. Slow car download. Raymond's still out here, super slow. I guess he missed the pits the first time around. I think we got to get to the outside of Gavin. Don't know how we're going to do it, though. Inside. What was that? Guy's in from a million miles back. Yeah, I know. Keep high. I had a bag corner, to be fair. I some position. So I didn't mean to come up with it. Hundred percent my fault. Yeah, I should have hit it there. Just, you know. Inside. And stayed at the back anyway, but yeah, we're gonna lose Gavin now because uh, Dante's on our inside. We gotta work to get back to him again. Yeah, you're you're all good. I was kind of fast in the race. Yeah, to get up to uh, you know, I was kind of struggling to get into the wall, so I tried to stay down a little bit too. So it didn't help. Your lap time was. 21.03. I think we really got to use that seam to get this thing turning. I think that really helps us. I am not. I believe not shifting is the best way around here. Mine's is probably the best car for it. lap time was 21.04. Dante all over us. He's got the draft. And maybe some better tires. Hard to say. Car inside. I'm trying to set something up, but every time I do, Dante gets to my inside. And then we get slow, and then Gavin pulls away a little bit. Stay high. The next car is Fraggle. Still there. I'll drive. Good night. 
clear. Outside. Going for it. Stay low. Stay low. It's not gonna work. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I needed to get to the outside like I suspected. Stay low. P3. Clear up top. Car outside. Keep low. Now we, uh, we have to struggle down here for a while. The lap time was at 21.31. This stinks. Dante's are outside now. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. I might come into pit just for a tear off. Car on the high side. Stay low. Glad he did not think us three wide there. We definitely would have crashed. There's no way Dante was gonna enter that corner like it was three wide. He would have definitely wrecked us. Still there. Clear high. Car outside. Still there. Not expecting it to be off the wall there. Still there, hold All your right, Carlton, the next car is the page. Man, we're all bunched up. Stay low. I feel like it's all gonna blow at some point. Before. Somebody's gonna be in the wrong place. Still there, hold your line. Should have never gone to the inside of Gavin. All right, we're getting doored. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. The next car is Fraggle. Stay low. Gavin almost into the wall there. Clear high. We're just gonna get uh, to the outside. Inside. Still there. He can try to pass Clear Gavin. Maybe we can get to his outside. Wesley behind us now, he's in a Mazda. Car inside. Clear. That lap was a 21.17. P4. Inside. Clear. 13 until the next caution. I think we might have to uh, hit. Big check up there. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Still How much grip does Wesley have? Clear. Right front, it's really not happy. Dante going for a pass, and then sliding back in line.
Misses his corner. Stuck behind him right now. Can't pass him though unless he relinquishes the outside because I'm not going to be able to make a pass down low. We're going to get freight drained. I need him to make a mistake so I can get to his outside. Car inside. Leslie in looking low. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up top. There's no passing. No passing allowed, man. Still there, inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there, hold your line. Just boxed in. Still inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there. P5. Clear. As he's working his way down there. Inside. But it's because we're just so stacked up up here. Why is he turning him? Outside. My goodness. Stay low. Stay low. We've got draft on the bottom line now, so maybe that'll help us get around. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there, hold your line. Clear up top. Clear, Gavin. About to have the stage break, if you want to call it that. They're three wide back there. Whew. Wait, I thought we were getting a caution. Okay. Yellow flag. They want you in single file. Pit road is closed right now. Started. Long to take the change tires. Thirty-eight minutes. Thirty-eight minutes. Mazda one side ten seconds. Did you say minutes? <laughs> All right, Colton. Halfway home. Fuel's good. Put the tires on it. I guess. I think everybody else is going to. Pit road's open. For the pit speed limit, pit lane speed limit is 55 three, miles two, per hour. One. It's fine, you got right loads. Here. The leader oh is gosh. watching now. That was really early. Sixty-four eighty-eight. Roberts is leading the race. Thirty-nine eighty-nine. Get it going. Coming out here. Alright. They want you in single No idea where we came out. We came out ahead of Wesley though, so that's cool. My rounds for forty eight eighty nine. Gotta remember the uh tires are gonna be cold. 
and therefore are going to uh, be very tight. The handling is going to be very tight. Trying to get some heat in them, maybe. We got someone spinning. You're ahead of me, Rick. I gotta drop to the rear. I got a black flag for exiting a closed tip. That just barely got caught with it. Oh no, that sucks. Left cars are to the inside again. Burn off some of this fuel. Yeah, I'm lucky dog, so we can go by. Wonder who spawned back there. I saw someone spinning. I'm sure they got their lap or their spot back. As long as they didn't complete Actually I don't think it matters. I think they probably got their spot back. Your Clio is ahead of you. I think they might be the only two. So it's funny they both came out ahead of us. They probably have a shorter tire change. If I had to guess. Wesley behind us, we're gonna look to get some more spots ahead. We got guys that didn't take tires, I think. Get ready. So it'll be interesting. The pipe car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. Car really expecting to get to his inside there, but we did. Something's happening up there. I don't know really what. Wesley. Decides not to pass me, even though I messed that up. Lap He's supporting us instead of passing it. Just it. Used to how little turn this thing's got into it at the start of a run. Outside. Keep low. Still there, hold your line. That lap time was 21.01. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear up top. <laughs> Alright, moving forward. I think once our tires are up to temp, we're really going to be faster than some of the guys that didn't take tires. Really checked up there. Trying to get a run on him. He is just super slow in the bottom and I can't get around. I think we have to go up above him. There's a spin, I think. Got a slow car in front of us. I don't know why this guy's so off pace. Oh my god, this is absurd. The classes are really showing themselves right now. Come on, please. Let's get a run. Get around him. All right. Really had to drive it in hard there. I 
I think we're done pitting for the day. I think we're taking it at the midpoint and then we're done. Lots more grip than Troy here. Just gotta be smart about how we get around him. Car out, Dodge. You're on the bottom three wide. Not what I wanted Two to see. Car outside, two wide. That was two dangerous. Way. Outside is clear. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on P6. the high side. Clear outside if you want it. The gap in front is now 0.94. Taking a while to move our way up, but they're doing it. Car outside. You've just done a 20.76. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. Trying to get around Good Kevin. Luck. Still there, hold your line. Clear high. We got Billy up there, a Mazda, presumably on old tires. That was a 21.00. And uh, that's Alan too, okay, he's on our lap. We got 81 to go. Oh, interesting. Nick backs out. Did not expect that. Car outside. Still there. Outside, clear. Outside. Leave him lane. Should be able to get by him. Outside is clear. You're back in fifth. Back in fifth. Billy in front of us. I think we are front of the guys that have fresh tires in our class and maybe in the field. Maybe not. I think it, did Gavin pit? I'm not sure. It's more focused on uh, a couple other guys. Around him, all right. The gap to Cassie ahead is increasing. It's now 1.87. Couple of lap cars, and then the 34. You're back in fourth position. Seventy-five to go at the line, twenty-five until the next caution. It seems really uh, a lot more helpful than I expected. I think with less weight in the car, it, it really helps to have that to help get rotation. I'm guessing that's what that feeling is. Oh, okay. Not expect to get to his inside there. Still there. We're matching race pace. Clear. Get around him. All right. Next car is for position. You've just done a 20.92. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. P4. 
Kind of liked how that felt. It's interesting because the car's handling changes over the course of a run so much. It feels like the way you drive the corner, you have to constantly evolve. And uh, readjust how you plan to do it, so it's really interesting. Car outside. Keep low. Outside is clear. The inside. Perp there. All right. That lap was a twenty-one point zero two. Ooh, car did not turn as well that time. Interesting. Restarts are double file now? I wonder why that is. I wonder if he planned to do that all along. The driver Might have missed that. Cassie. Wesley has regained on us, though. Your last lap time was at 20.90. Catching up to the 34. That lap was at Too much break on entry. It was not great. Almost got myself sideways. Got some draft now. I think I have to stay out. I don't think we're going to be able to pass those guys if we have to wait for our tires to get up to temp again. I think we have to get the track position and just keep it to the end. That's what we're going to try. I don't know if it's going to work for us, but I think that's our best option. It's taken us pretty much the entire run to even get back to Gavin up there, and he's not even in the lead right now. I think we gotta get to the outside of Kyle here. Get a bit of a run. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. Lap time was Still there at the bottom. Wesley to our inside now. It's gonna go around us. Alright. P five. Outside. Lap car kinda messed me up there. I think I got too worried about getting the outside that I just didn't hit my corner right. Wesley's going to try the inside. I just don't know if that's going to work. But he made it work on me. Whoa. That's close. I think he's going to pass him. He's going to try to go around him again, though. Outside. 
Might be what we need to try to get uh, by him. Car inside. Clear. Inside. Clear inside. Close this door on us. I don't know if I can get around him like uh, Wesley did. I don't know if I can make that happen uh, on the other side. I think this next caution we do the opposite of what Wesley does. I think that's the only way we're going to have a chance. Lap car coming up. Inside. Clear inside. You're just gonna 21.11. Not sure how this is gonna play with the lap car. It's not going to matter. We're going to get the caution here real soon. Outside. The gap behind is now 21.02. That last lap was at 21.00. Still there. Hold your line. I'll try to have the nose in front of him before the caution. Pit road is <sighs> right now. But not quite. So what do we do? The opposite of the guys ahead, I guess. I think we gotta stay out, though, to be honest. I think that's just our best option, but... Pit road's open. Not gonna have any chance. If, uh... <laughs> if we're the only one that stays out, right? The lead car's pitting. We're not coming in. Alright. We'll see how it goes. Cassie is leading the race. Car 49. Got the lucky dog. Let Most everybody else comes outside. in. P2. I'm not waiting for these tires to come up to temp, though. And then it's so hard to pass later. We're just going to stay out. Have a little bit of bu uh, buffer, I guess, behind us. Not much, but a little bit. And it's Kyle in front of us. Okay, Colton, you're reeling. Cassie in. The gap is now 0 0.48. There's a car rejoining. Why would we have a caution? <laughs> oh, and, uh, at the end. Oh my goodness. I did this on purpose, but... Could be wrong. Maybe we should have just taken right sides, but I don't know. I feel like I would be worried that would self-spin on me just because of the huge tire uh, temp difference, if anything. Wesley back in seventh. So he's got to pass a few guys. It's double file now. So that could help us get around Kyle if we get a good restart, but I think they have faster straightaway speed, don't they? I don't know. If we can get a good launch, this might work out well for us being on the outside. The gap to Cassie in front is now zero. All right.
One left to green. Line up it is, on your oh, it is single file. I swear you turned it to double file. It's weird. It's okay. Same thing as before then. Throws on the inside. The car behind is catching. The gap's now 0 0.47. About to go green, stay focused. Let's get ourselves a good jump. The pace car is on. Be ready. Green, green, not green. going yet. We're slamming on the gas. We're not going yet. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Still there inside. Clear. All right, we're in the lead. We get the coveted lap lead. Very important in this series. You're in third. You're now in the lead. You've just done a 21. This track position is going to be really important too. Not going to give up this high line for the rest of the race. Sorry, Brandon. I was hoping you were looking. Oh, you're all good. Uh-oh, smoke. There was some sort of accident. Maybe what Daniel was referring to on voice chat there. I have to keep an out for, eye out for Wesley. With his fresh tires. See if he's able to catch us. Got exactly what we needed on that restart. We needed to be able to get to the outside. That helped us get around him. Your last lap time was now we just can't let it go. I'm going to be keeping an eye on my relative, too. Inside. Still there. Hold your line. See if they start coming up fast. Still there. Inside. We should be faster than them right now, though. Their tires are going to be old and cold. Or, you know, new and cold. Ours are old. And got cold. <laughs> Clear. But, uh... Pace is much slower on the fresh tires for a little while before it switches back around. I'm just hoping by the time they get up here, the difference isn't going to be enough to be able to make the pass. You know, Kyle's going to do everything he can to try to get around us, though, for the win. So we've got to be very careful. That lap was a 21.00. Stay high. Someone up ahead. Lap car. There, hold your line. Clear inside. Inside. Still there. Shane back there, he's on fresh tires. Will he be able to get past us? Car inside. Clear inside. inside. Shoves us into the corner. Stay high. You're up top, three wide. Wow, Still really hold. aggressive. Still hold. Inside, two wide. So is there Dang anybody it. out here Still that has a pit? Clear. Car inside. So those guys got their tires up Still to temp, inside. and now they're going to be Clear faster. Inside. The next car is the leader. Outside. Why would he not back out? Oh my god. I guess there's no winning for him. To be fair, someone's gonna catch him on the exit. You've just done a 21.10.
Inside. Clear. Yeah. Inside. The gap ahead is now zero. Zero. Take zero. You're up top three wide. All right, we're three wide three then. Wide. You're up top three wide. Still there. Inside. Two wide. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. B4. That was a twenty-one. Uh, inside. Don't think the uh, tire strategy paid off, but I think it was worth a try. I'll see. We'll see how I feel about it in about thirty laps, though. Your lap time was twenty-one point zero five. Wesley all over Gavin, trying for P2. P4. P4 not so bad right now though, I'm feeling okay with that. We also got the laps led, which is very important in this series, of course. So I'm pretty happy with my decision there. Even if we do fall back even a little bit more. Now, if they start swamping me at the end or something, that's not going to be great, but we're holding our own right here, right now. Just had a couple of guys that were able to get to us and have enough grip in their tires to get around us. Shane right now winning the race, Gavin right behind him, but Wesley turning Gavin actually right now. Sorry. He saves no it. Problem. I'm trying anything to get the next speed out of the corner. Yeah, you need to stop that. Your last lap time was that? 21.10. You slow down a little bit, I wouldn't have to. <laughs> I'll look into our oh, inside. That lap was a 21.08. Good on fuel, don't have to worry about that. Even though we got a bit of a blinky light over there. Go ahead here, Troy. You could have held him up a lot. That time's pretty consistent. That lap time was 21.05. Oh, I'm racing Nick King, so I got a gap now. I had to go like hell early to build that gap. 20 to go. Not a great corner. I tried something a little bit different there. Did not work. Yeah, I'm in the opposite boat. I took four tires and put myself a lap down. Yeah, I did too, but I didn't get the lucky dog on the last cross. No, I did. I was racing like all the path everyone. I was the leader was passing so I could get it. So it's looking like P four right now, it's we're holding on just fine. Those guys ahead could start battling, and who knows what's going to happen there, because Gavin's getting around him right now, it looks like. 
Lemons is now leading. You've just done a 21.14. Yeah, I think we were all racing for that. We've got a crazy battle going on. I have head. Side by side for the lead. The gap ahead is now 2.4 seconds. Brandon looking to pass Kyle back there. He could be on his way to us next. Could be someone looking to take our P4 away. Your lap time was at 21.13. That's good consistency. Keep it up. They are back to single file. Shane holds on to the lead. It's going to be really hard to make that pass, I think. That was the idea behind me staying out. And uh, unfortunately, they had enough grip to get by me early, but we seemed to be evened out with the, pretty much everybody again. They're fighting the side by side behind us. So that's opened up a bit of a comfortable gap. They've uh, driven away from us in front, though, unfortunately. Lap traffic in front of them, but it looks like they're getting by that just fine. That was a 21.16. I think we are comfortable behind us about a second. Hopefully they have themselves a fun finish up there. They're real close to one another. Great job. Dead to go. That was a 21.08. If I kind of drive in harder, it kind of is pretty fast. Didn't work as well that corner, but if we can go high, Shane. Behind is now 1.21. Thank you. And I'm just going to go back to what I was doing. Just trying to see if I could find I some. I wish stuff. I would have known two tires were going to feel this good on the first stop. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 3.6. That lap was a. Two tires is the play, it sounds like then. At least for the uh, Toyota. I think Daniel's in the Toyota. I could be wrong. I can't remember. I looked through everybody before the race. Kind of looked at what they were driving. I can't remember what Daniel was driving now. Car inside. Still inside. Not sure why this guy is holding the bottom. Get around him. Guess it's fine. Seven to go. That lap time was. 21.19 The gap to Cassie behind is now 1.37 It's like we're just uh, gonna have to finish this thing off. Looks like we found our finishing position. Unless anything crazy happens. The lap time was 21.20 Fun race though. This was pretty cool. They battling for the win up there? It looks like they might have been side by side. Time to push, yeah. Yeah, I've been just kind of hanging out this whole race, Spotter. Haven't been pushing at all, just kind of been, you know, catching up on my reading. Coming up on Kevin, P24. That was a 21.16.
the gap to Cassie. Behind is now 1.60. Get a little bit of draft. Not that that's going to matter. We're not going to catch anybody else. Outside. Like he's letting us by. Keep low. Clear high. Well, we don't get the battle for the win because of the strategy, but I'll take it. I wanted to try something opposite to what the guys ahead were going to do because I didn't think I was going to get around them. And uh, we got the lap led. Still are going to finish fourth, it looks like. White flag. One more lap to go. So I'll definitely take it. Shane in the lead right now. Is he going to pull it off? I think he is. Great freaking job. I was racing so hard to try and get to you. Holy cow. <laughs> Shane gets the win. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I did that. P4. Good job, Sir. Good job, Well done. It's over. Good win there, Shane. Good job. Very good win. Good job. race, guys. Yeah, good win. That was fun race. Yeah, we get P4. Shane gets the win. It's awesome. Gavin P2, I think he finishes. Dude, what are you going to do it, dude? Wesley there. Our final yeah, tire really reading, 63.88. I'll take it. Allowed us to get around Kyle. Taking that strategy. And I think those other guys probably were going to beat us anyway. They were just a little bit faster. I feel like. So that's all good and well. Eric says that did not work the tire uh, to uh, go without pitting. Gavin say exactly. So sorry for the aggressive move inside contact. We'll go ahead and uh, that. Yeah, I agree. He kind of had to, it kind of felt like. Um, just because of how close on pace we were, Nick did a great job of like evening out the classes, at least for the um, Mazda and the Toyota. Yeah, good race to Kyle. Um, I don't think I may not have been able to get around him had I not stayed out, like I said. And uh, we'll see the incidents. I know we had a couple people crash, but it really it seemed very clean to me. Hard to tell whenever there's no cautions, but I thought it uh, seemed pretty clean. So lap six, 
You're gonna get a wild hit, perhaps? Yep, turn two loves to jump out in front of you. That's kind of just how that works. <laughs> so, Raymond gonna get the wall, it looks like. He comes down. Whoa. Some evasive maneuvers. It looks like everybody's okay. Didn't we have something, like, on lap one, though? I swear we had, like, something very early in the race happen. I could have sworn we saw somebody sideways. Yeah, there it is. That was Rick. What happened there? Just a spin? Oh, yeah. It looks like maybe he even, like, downshifted or something, the way that broke sideways. Not sure, but, uh, not much harm done there. So we'll skip back to where we were. Should be right around here, lap 23, a bit of a skip forward. Just gonna get some wall hits, it looks like. Maybe we'll skip ahead a little bit faster. Though it's gonna be hard to tell whenever there's an actual accident. Or a blink out, I guess, for that matter. Wesley giving the bump draft there. Pull the wall hits. 87 gonna wall hit. There it is. Alan on pit road. I wonder what happened with him. Or this is under caution. Okay, never mind. I think he had to pit under green at one point though. Unless he just accidentally hit his uh, hot key for the message. Skip ahead until we see anything big. Whoa, very close right there. Moving right along. We got three wide. James just does not leave enough room up top, and they come together. So how does this all go down? Oh, wow, they were sprawling for a little bit there. So that was actually a butterfly effect of that previous incident we saw. We've got... Michael going well well down low, and then uh, making it three wide. And then they might not even have gotten the call out there on the outside, Raymond. But they are three wide, and so Raymond doesn't know to leave the space. They survived that, though. And then continuing on... Not sure why Raymond is going that far outside. Is he a lap down at this point? He might be. Probably should have just backed out, I think. Maybe that's why James came up. He was expecting him to back out. Assuming he was not on the same lap. Hard to tell. But uh, they come together, unfortunately. And then Raymond's broken on the track for a while. Really uh, not able to turn the car, I feel like. I just gotta stop it and... Oh, I think at that point, although he makes it around. Didn't seem to be too bad in the way. I think the one time that it got scary was whenever he had to cut down to the bottom. So moving on ahead, we got anything else? Not seeing anything there. Maybe some wall hits. Anything Nick do here? Looks fine. Probably just tires getting older. Dante doing a bump draft. Where did Dante end up? He was right near us for a while. He's seventh, so he still finished well. Let's skip ahead a little bit more. There's Gavin in P2. He had an excellent run here today. I think we're getting tires wearing out at this point. So we're going to go ahead and skip to lap 101 until after uh, the next caution. Got people pitting. Showing that for some reason. Oh, here's what that spin we saw. Probably just the cold tires. Not expecting... That feeling there. Looks like you got one of those slides you just can't catch. It just keeps going, no matter what you try to do. Guess if you're going to do it, the caution's the best time to do it. But, uh, Cold Tires gets the five there. 
That stinks. He was in a 14th. Not doing too bad. Dan getting no turn whatsoever. Dan DeSanto. Welcome to him. I think this was his first race. Some contact there up front. Looking three wide. Are they going to do it? Not quite. Shane kind of backs out of it. Three wide on exit there. This racing got pretty crazy. Ellen doesn't turn quite as much, but they're okay. Just a couple door hits. Oh, there's something happened there. Billy turns down a little bit there, maybe. He's probably not expecting anyone to be in that middle lane because he probably didn't get a three-wide call. Just a slight hit, kind of getting everybody all squirrely. Oh, man, Alan into the wall. Moving along here. I don't know if Alan's got a damaged car now or what, but it looks like he's falling back. Alright, see if we have any more incidents, any big ones. Nick may be pushing out a little bit, maybe a little bit. That was kind of close, hard to say. Yeah, I think Nick maybe just pushed out a little bit too soon out of the corner. Maybe he was getting tight, but no harm done there. Just a slight tap. Showing that a little bit. Rewide here. Oh, big net code. That stinks. I don't think uh, Frank knew that they were three wide. And uh, they should have been fine anyway, but just major net code sends them sideways. That's no fun. Ooh, that was that was a weird one. Was he in the wall? Is that why he entered so wide? He entered super wide right there, and then cuts down a bit of a strange racing line. And Daniel's just got a complete opposite line going, where he's going down low. And Kevin kind of turns down on him. Like, I don't even think you can really call that a dive for Daniel, because... I don't know, let's... How has he been entering the corner up ahead? I... Yeah, I mean, he's using the second lane right there. So, I mean, Daniel's seen that. And he goes to do that wide entry again. Thinking, alright, he takes the second lane... And then this time he decides to go to the bottom. And uh, he keeps going down to the bottom, even though Daniel's there. So I can't really blame Daniel for that. It, he had established the previous lap. He'd been running the middle lane and kind of just takes up every lane, uh, going from that wide outside line to the way inside. Alan Ketchin, is that lap traffic? Yeah, lap traffic kind of in the racing line. JP pushing out a little bit to the, is that like a teal, <laughs> teal colored car, a beeping. Skip ahead a little bit, what else we got? Nothing there it looks like. And uh, your final caution, a little bit of uh, something on the pit entry. So just guys getting tired, showing that for some reason. And then I don't know what happened on this restart. We were not going yet. Just get run into the back of. That was kind of strange. Because, I mean, I'm right behind the leader. I'll know when he's going. <laughs> but, uh... It looks like... It almost looks like Dante starts going before we're ready to go. Right there. And then I hear some more people gun it up. Uh, we're not going yet. And, uh, 
I don't know. Guys were just getting impatient, waiting for the green flag, I guess. I don't know, but honestly, the push might have helped us. <laughs> it gives us a little jolt, allows us to get to the outside. And this is what ultimately allows us to lead a lap, because we've got the outside right there. He's kind of getting on the apron a little bit. And that's uh, how we're able to lead some laps, which was pretty cool being out up front. That's going to pay off big, because laps led bonus in this series is... It makes a big difference. Wesley kind of uh, out there in front of Shane. This is your eventual battle for the win right here. And this is why I did not want to pit too, because I knew that the uh, Toyota is much faster on the short run as the Mazda waits for the tires to get up to temp. And so I figured if I'm on equal tire with them, there's no way I'm getting out in front of them. And there's no way that uh, I'm going to be able to pass them later once my car is just slightly faster. And so that's all what informed my decision with that. I still stick by it. I think it was a good idea. And uh, we'll see what else happened for the rest of this. Nothing there. Close racing up ahead. I say I got my old tires blocking some guys. some aggressive moves and uh, I mean I feel kind of bad for being slow in front of them but I I genuinely feel like that was my best option for this Gavin was going pretty aggressive <laughs> he had Wesley on the inside of him and I think he was trying to put it three wide and he eventually does because he's trying to pass Shane he just like finds his way that's fun to see uh, Gavin usually not quite as uh, aggressive of a racer, but he was wanting to win, I think. Can't blame him. And uh, it works that time. He kind of moves Wesley down the track and uh, gets around me. So, hey, it worked. He didn't wreck anybody. He just used his uh, side panel a little bit and got it done. And uh, only a few more things to check here as we are on lap 173. Probably not too much more. Kyle behind me here, um, finding it hard to pass, as he said. And uh, only a little bit further to go, lap 181. Ball hit for Dante. That might have hurt him late. This is on P6. He's got Brandon on his inside. I think he gets the wall on exit here. Just guessed it up a little bit too soon, maybe. That allows Billy to clear him, it looks like. And what else we got? Well, tires getting old, maybe. Kyle's falling back a little bit, and a couple of Mazdas are pursuing him. See, I feel like I would have been in this group. I almost can guarantee you I would have been in this group. Had, uh... I pit with everybody. Because I feel like I wouldn't have been able to get around Kyle. Maybe. Maybe I could have. I mean, Wesley did it. But I feel like Wesley was a little bit better me than me this whole race. So, who knows for sure. But I can definitely uh, see having had trouble getting around him. One last wall hit for Dante, I, uh, I assume. And then uh, Shane with the win. Congrats to him. Good to see. Shane's always a good, clean competitor. And he earned the win in this one with some intense racing here in the Enduro Challenge. So we go 18th to 4th after our not-so-great qualifying effort. Though uh, I think we did better than we thought since uh, there weren't too many Mazdas in front of us. And uh, from there, we'll go ahead and look at the race results page real quick and then uh, move on over to the league standings right after that. So here's the event results. We finished fourth, and those five bonus points have it uh, where we basically finish ahead of Wesley. So that's why those bonus points are so important. And you can see we were about a tenth slower than Wesley's fastest lap there. So, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm very happy. I'm happy with that, uh, that choice. And that just further uh, illustrates it. I feel like that's a good representation, like... Even if we finish fourth to Wesley third, being able to lead that lap is five points, and that's a huge chunk, so. 
Good stuff. Kyle gets the fastest lap in his Toyota. So they had the fastest short run speed, I think. And uh, that did seem to be the case out on the track. So we finished P2 of the Mazdas. You can see over here the little pictures of the cars. <laughs> and uh, your best finishing Clio is going to be Nick right ahead of Brett. I think they might have been the only Clios. I can do another quick rundown of the list on the side here. Because we got Nick, we got Brett, and then any other Clios, I don't think so. We had two Clios out there, which makes sense. Um, too bad there weren't more of them, but it makes sense because that is a paid card. The other two are free cars. But uh, they had themselves a close battle, which is cool. They still uh, found each other out there nearby, near one another. And uh, now we'll go ahead and look at the league standings after three races of the K5 Championship Season 5, Kern County. So I'll navigate my way there, and you will see that very shortly and I just gotta click the button to make that show up all right here it is we are tied for first look at that Cabe did not show up here tonight he was probably busy racing at the real Kern County <laughs> to be honest I don't know what he really was doing but uh, that means we're tied which is crazy. I did not expect to see that. Um, I don't know if Mitch was there tonight either. I don't remember. So, um, <laughs> wife giving us the applause here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but uh, tied for first in the oops in the championship standings, and Mitch three points behind. So it's not a comfortable lead by any means. And of course, Cabe's gonna come back and reclaim his home track. I'm sure. But uh, for now, we've got some uh, golden next to our name, which is pretty awesome. So that will do it for this one. Thank you for watching. That was a fun one. Really enjoyed the enduro multi-class experience there. Multi-class, but single race, I guess. And uh, I hope you enjoyed as well. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.